Hello and welcome. It's Wednesday, November the 24th. This is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are going to read from the book of Genesis, chapter 45, verses 1 through 9. Here's the word of the Lord. Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all his attendants, and he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him, and Pharaoh's household heard about it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were terrified at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into slavery. And now don't be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now there has been a famine in the land, and for the next five years there will be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So then, it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, Lord of his entire household and ruler of all Egypt. Now hurry back to my father and say to him, This is what your son Joseph says, God has made me Lord over all Egypt. Come down to me, don't delay. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today by Carol Rittenhouse is titled Vision. Sometimes we see things better in hindsight. We have all experienced difficulties in life. In the middle of a crisis, it may be impossible to see the hand of God working in the circumstances. Joseph has grown into a man about whom he had dreamed. The young teenager with no power in his family now had power over them. In these long years of separation from his family, Joseph had learned that God was divinely sovereign over the events in his life. God had brought him from slavery to power, and Joseph chose not to abuse his authority. Of course, God's sovereignty doesn't, does not mean he will always intervene to keep us from experiencing the sinfulness of others. However, he walks with us and empowers us with his spirit so that we do not become bitter with life circumstances. I love the way Joseph approaches his brothers. They feared this fierce young ruler. Joseph said to them, come close to me. When their eyes met, the recognition swept over them. Joseph forgave them freely, no strings attached. He had power to punish his brothers or to reconcile with them. Joseph chose the way of grace. The hymn is, O Master, Let Me Walk With Thee by Washington Gladden. Help me the slow of heart to move by some clear winning word of love. And from the 133rd Psalm, verse 1. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It certainly is. Amen. And this is your daily devotion for Wednesday, November the 24th. Have a blessed day.